So the squares, they're simple. I wouldn't define them too much. It's just there's some struggles. You're a Libra when the sun's in Capricorn and the sun's in Cancer. There's going to be struggles with adjustments to the, adjustments to the cold, adjustments to the excessive heat. You know, like for me, I really don't like it when it's when it's 30 or 40 degrees. It's too hot. You know, or 90 degrees in Fahrenheit. It just or when it when it gets too cold. But you still may it takes a bit more effort to go out, but you still go out and do things around it. You're sort of a bit more prepared, a little more just and if you go do things and make that extra effort, a confidence will come in your exposure in your relations with the sun at those times. But you can expect that extra effort is being demanded. At the opposition, it's 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 more distinct. It's like Remember Alice in Wonderland at the tea party? They're singing the song, A Very Merry Unbirthday to You. A Very Merry Unbirthday. Well, the opposition to your son is like your unbirthday. Well, really, every day other than your birthday is an unbirthday. But really, the opposition to your son, I would call it like your unbirthday. It's the opposite time of the year. It's the time when the affirmation is, is as weak or as contrary as it can be. It's not contrary. It's still there. It's just not. There's a different thing to have the sun the light on in your room than to have the light on across the street in someone else's room. But it's still the light. But if your light is that, I remember we had, when I was in Aurora, the, um, like sure there was the, age of the storm and the, and the electricity cut out, but it didn't cut out evenly around the whole city. The whole city was more or less shut down, but different blocks had electricity and, and others did. I didn't have any electricity. But on the corner across the street, they had the electricity. This went on for like, two weeks or 10 days. And the coffee shop three blocks over had their electricity. Everyone was going there. But some people weren't even clean. They had their light. So like it comes different. We experience it differently. It starts from our natal sun and, and the sense of confidence that we're born with. And at the conditions around it, which is your sun and the sign, the attitudes and the houses, the circumstances of your chart. Here. So if you have, if you're born in the in the daylight, increasing half of the year, your get your confidence from being more independent, from trying to move towards more independence. I'm going to be more free, more. I'm doing my own thing more. But like me, if you're born with the sun in the nighttime, increasing half, you want things you're doing. You still want to do things, but you want things you're doing to be important to others. You want other people to be involved. You want other people to appreciate what you're doing. I mean, why bother if no one's going to care? So you can start to see each of the categories of rising, the, the, the daylight increasing, nighttime increasing. The daylight is greater, I mean, the deepers on the nighttime is greater half. So it's those things that are going to be reinforced by this sun. And by the sun coming back to that sun, it's just your heart's beating. Boom, 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 boom. And each heartbeat goes like it beats and unbeats across a year. So it's like a recharge of the vitality, but the opposition, there's a tendency to have low vitality. For me, I always am on extra alert, not it gets spring, it's, it starts to be nice that you want to take your winter clothes that you want to go out and walk out and it seems so beautiful you go out, but there's a cool, a coolness under it. He said, and it's, I find it so easy to catch colds then, but I'm extra cautious that it's not now, well, I've learned to be a little more cautious in the springtime about not just going on impulses, which basically goes against the nature of my son. I mean, it still could go with him. I still do it to some degree. I'm still me, but I have a little awareness. I got to do these things, I do things, but I'm not always getting the support or the affirmation I want when the son's in the opposite side, when the son's opposing my son. You just have to watch this. You just have to check it for yourself. Look around and see it for other people. Is this true? Is this working? So after the conjunction, you're moving. You get the new conjunction and you got your confidence and you're moving with it with however much you were able to tap it. You're going on that. Then you run into some struggles around it and it's a bit more effort to maintain the confidence. But when you make that adjustment, you're able to extend that confidence from the square up to the opposition. And so... In a way, confidence isn't the thing 
But wow, what a difference it makes to everything else in your chart when it's there. Okay, so like if someone's a Leo and they get their affirmations in the summer when it's sunny and it's shiny and they can be showing off and shining and everyone can notice them. They have a lot more difficulty dealing with February and dealing when it's cold. On the other side, some people are born in the winter. They may still like the summer, but they're not going to have the same. They're going to be energized more by the winter energies. Now, if, is this really so? Ask people. Look, see how it works for you. Check how it works for your parents, for the kids and people in your family, for your friends. Confirm it on a few levels, and you start saying, oh, yeah, look at this. So it's just something that's sort of floating in the back of your mind when you're doing a chart for a moment or something. You can start to say, oh, yeah, this happened. But I like to look at the waves of these and see the phases. Once you get to the, get through the winter and you're just waiting for the spring to come, waiting for it to get warmer again, it starts to come. You know, it's often wet, damp, whatever. There's all these complications around the springtime. It's not as... Um, in the fall of a mess, you can push through leaves or whatever, you can walk around, but it's it's um, more physically challenging in the springtime than aesthetically challenging in the fall. So you can use this generally around the signs to the signs. Every sign has its sign, the opposite sign, the sign squaring it. And if you're writing sun sign books, you would would see this. And sun sign books can be very valid. I mean, Linda Goodman, who wrote her sun sign books, I wouldn't have sent someone to her to, to her to get a consultation done. At the same time, she inspired a lot of people in seeing the textures of how these things, how these sun signs work and how they affect each other, how they relate to each other. She got lots of people into astrology by inspiring them by being aware of these simple things. Um, okay, so this high vitality low vitality so at the opposition there's limits to your confidence the in the, the opposition your inner light is acknowledging that there's an outer light there of course that's like the candle trying to acknowledge the light of the room or the like at the, at the conjunction is the light in the whole room is reinforcing the candle so the inner light acknowledges the outer light at the opposition the outer light affirms the inner light at the conjunction, and there's a struggle between the two, coming from one to the other at the squares. There is, there, I mean, you can have, since the sun is your creativity and your performance, your playfulness, it shows us how it's playing. I mean, it's like, it's as if the sun is like this big kid, or God is this kid that's just playing with the world. And this play is the sun. How we play is the sun. So we're watching for these specific things. We're just looking at the sun to itself. We're looking at four points across a year. That will happen the same week every year. We'll have similar energies. So we deal with attitude. Like this time of year, we just struggle with this thing. We, we, we begin to make thoughts and values around whether we like certain days at certain times of the year more than others. And it will show you how this is working. But if you, I think, so I like the idea of the outer light acknowledging the inner light and the inner light and acknowledging the outer light. It's like the outside is affirming me or I'm having to affirm what's outside. Like that's like a conjunction to opposition. But really, if you're, if you're looking at, just look at it like confidence and affirmations or challenges or the light is forcing you to make adjustments to your confidence. You're too light, you're too proud. Pr issues of pride can come up. Issues of arrogance and pride come up. Not aggressive like Mars, just radiant, thinking I'm too important. I'm too. I'm so. I'm too. I'm too. I'm too good for everyone. I'm the best. And it may not put the same energy out to everyone. So okay, it's uh, like I said. This is it's simple things. It's interesting to follow along. It. So this is the first cycle: the pulsing between the conjunction and the opposition of the sun. It's the solar heartbeat across a year. We experience a day, we get it day and night, but we get it across the year. My, my season, the opposite season. 
the squirting seasons, these challenges come in. So we're moving with confidence. We're extending our confidence up to the opposition. Then we're trying to rebuild our confidence. Or, or there, we're realizing there's lots of ways we're not confident. We're trying to align accordingly. And then by the time we get to the square, the conjunction, we're trying to regain, recapture some confidence. And we're looking, and we're trying to move towards light. And the, of course, the confidence comes at the birthday. I remember when I was married, I have this funny instinct that would happen. Partly it's my moon that's intuitive in cancer, but the month before my birthday comes along, I start to feel it's going towards new. And I tend to have this feeling, oh, I'll go get myself something. Oh, I feel like this, I'll go get myself this. And I would like to get this. Why don't I get that? I get my own, get something for myself. I'm not really thinking like a birthday present, but I'm often going out and buying exactly the thing someone else is getting for me. Then when they give it to me, why oh, I just bought that? Oh my good! And my wife used to get really mad over this because I'd buy what she. It's just some of the play of life. So as with all astrology, we're seeing the design, we're seeing the pattern, we're calculating the numbers, we're watching through these things, but the work is making it real and getting the texture to making these things alive and experiential, not just theory. So as we go through each cycle, as we gain these cycles we've gained those experiences. By the time we've had a year, we've gained, we've had these four experiences. By the time we've had 10 years, we've had 10 times these four experiences. We get to know them well. We get to work with them or be them. And it wouldn't matter whether you're working hard and you're caught up in work and you're working, but you still will feel these affirmation moments or days. Okay, so now the other factor of the sun is it going around the angles. Well, you can see it to each planet. It'll conjunct each planet. It will en enhance that planet and give confidence to that planet. And that planet's going to pick up that energy and go on it. But each planet, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Moon, all of these, they'll pick up that affirmation. They'll get recharged. But they're being recharged for whatever attitude or whatever circumstances they're in. So it's a good thing, but if you're not using that planet well and that planet's being used difficultly, it's going to create an affirmation of those. Like if it's your moon, you feel confident about your lifestyle. But if your lifestyle is doing, you're doing something bad with your lifestyle, it's going to make that, it's going to affirm that and there could be more vital repercussions because of it. So, um,